Гим. Hello, 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 my love bugs. Once again, it is your girl Lumi Love here with another message from the divine. As I always say, today if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden out your heart, for I'm just a messenger and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for your likes, subscribe, shares, views, and memberships. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. Listen, they already trying to mess with my voice box. Listen at me. <clears throat> They already trying to mess with my voice box because they mad I'm about to come and drop this dime on their ass. Okay, look. <laughs> Y'all know we always get into the scoop. We always get into their business because they always in ours, all right? So we're about to get into uh, more, probably uh, more in detail of what we discussed or what we have been discussing in the past conspiracy readings. As you know, I put up the pictures and I put up the references to the readings. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it, okay? Y'all know I can't stick to my notes, but I'm going to try my hardest, but... <laughs> whatever y'all alone for the ride buckle up okay so in the last video we talked a lot about the man with the vaccines mm -hmm, and the big data demon Bilal and how they planned on spreading pestilence and stuff right so i always hear all the world's a stage all the world's a stage and i do have to say that there is a difference between a world and earth worlds could be uh considered planets you know what i'm saying worlds are planets so it's like if you call earth just the world or you refer to earth as the world then you're kind of trying to take away from the earth or you have been taken away from the earth <laughs> and it's kind of like when you don't call earth what it is or when you don't uh because i mean when you really think about it earth is what earth is one of the four elements you got to call earth what it is you know you can't just say oh it's a world and discard it like it's another planet but that's what they want to do to the planet earth is discard it as if though it was another world or just a place of resources that you know they can experiment on and take what they want from it and then discard it okay so that's very offensive uh, to the higher realms and such so you know you kind of got to watch that i guess i i'm gonna have to watch that i guess but I, okay holy spirit said you got to watch it because when people use the word world they may not have the best interest in you or the earth oh my goodness you better talk that mm, okay so um i'll go back to my notes <laughs> all right so uh they wanted to treat earth like well they want to treat earth like they did pluto you know they treated pluto like the red-headed stepchild okay um that's possibly also why it's so important about raising the bloodline of canon i'm hearing uh the red-headed giants that we've been talking about i'm hearing that they came from mars and they were banished to pluto a cold desolate planet so you remember how i said they got flooded out right nine times out of ten they got flooded out but i'm, I'm hearing the word extracted some sort of way they got extracted and this is this is i'm okay i'm explaining it and i'm gonna tell you what i'm thinking about I'm, I'm i'm seeing someone like if the earth flooded out like a spaceship or something was sucking up water but they sucked up the actual giant or sucked up some sort of carcass of animals or whatever and took it to a different planet um discarded it on different planets i'm hearing punishments some people punishments like being put in jail and pluto is considered hell uh in greek and roman times pluto uh you know what i'm saying is considered hell. so maybe this could have been the giants being banished to hell or this bloodline being banished to hell um and they were upset because and this is just what i'm hearing they were upset because the uh big banks i'm gonna say the big banks of the you know like the rockefellers and the rothschilds and stuff mm, those big banks stopped funding pluto they stopped funding something that was going on on pluto which pissed the race of people on pluto off so they was trying to hurry up and come over here so they can start some uh mess oh my gosh yeah because they felt like they were outcasts and so this literally could have been what i was talking about when i was talking about the red-headed dragons and how they felt like something wasn't fair and they want to fight back hmm okay remember like i said world not just earth because it's not just about sustaining life on earth this is just about taking what they need to sustain life or sustain human life on any planet that they see fit in order to take away your free will and control the nation the one world order uh the martial law you know basically trying to get everybody in line to what they believe and what they want to do okay and they want to do this under the pretense of a coup, like I told y'all, a fascist coup, to eliminate the people's right to cross all borders and start this new world order. Now, after the release of pestilence with a bio-infection, 
I heard the Black Plague. Okay, so it's like a bio-infection, like the Black Plague, the bird flu, COVID-19, COVID 2.0. I'm being funny, but ain't that what that shit was called? I don't know. The swine flu, <laughs> syphilis, basically any sickness that requires a quarantine and vaccine. Okay. Now, I don't know why syphilis came up, but I guess that it went so rampant when they did, to, this is what I'm hearing right now, it went so rampant when they used it in a Tuskegee experiment, they did not expect it to expand the way that it did. It wasn't just through sex, it was spread through all kind of shit, and a lot of people, just like when they first tried out that smallpox shit on the Native Americans, they did the same thing with syphilis on those Native Americans, okay? Those blacks is what they like to call you, because like I told y'all, they like to put you in the category of black because you're put in the void, that means you don't motherfucking matter, you don't, you shouldn't have a voice, and that's why people use you however the fuck they want to use you when you call yourself black. I know, I used to ride for it too, black excellence, black this, black that, but your black ass need to find out what you where you come from baby find out more than just being black okay you're more than just being black black is something they called you because they wanted to outcast you didn't they they wanted you to be a shadow they wanted you to be in the dark they didn't want you to know shit they didn't want you to have shit you gotta know your heritage baby so look that up but I'm, I'm gonna get off that and i'm gonna stick to my notes um anywho now <laughs> they want to use it okay i guess syphilis fit in there because i heard that as well so they want to use that so that they could be able to uh control you know i mean what they want to use the um in some sort of so they control your travels your ability to work you know all that stuff like that and they want to make it seem like a, a lockdown you know is it is it's supposed to seem like it's helping you and it's all for the better of you but it's a part of their plan okay basically of a total uh total totalitarianism state okay because they poison your soul they poison your soil is what i heard but soul came out my mouth so they poison your soul your soil and they poison your air you know the breath of life what you breathe okay so y'all know i always talk about the one on horned one eyed flying purple people eater okay now uh i did speak about it in this reading if you don't know what i'm talking about and why i always say that you can go back to this reading and refer to it okay but um i talked about how you had to make eye contact with it and how it's important to look the beast in the eyes i did state the words in one part of the song about looking it in his eyes and being brave and it was like I'm not gonna eat you you looked at me for what I am you see me for what I am you look me dead in my damn face I can't trick you I don't want you you know what I'm saying and so um this is another part of the song that stuck out uh well the beginning of it well I saw this thing coming out of the sky it had one long horn which is gonna be the trumpet you know that spaceship sound and one big eye which is the part where they suck your ass up at the bottom of the spaceship type of deal okay um and it says I commenced to shaking and said ooey it looks like the purple eater to me okay so um i think that speaks about the rapture and revelations about how you know the dead is being called up into heaven the skies space okay after the horsemen like i just told y'all i saw in my mind that they were sucking them damn giants them nephilim out of the water in the flood with one of these purple people eaters man okay Let's see. All right, now um, go back to my notes because y'all know I I just had to say that because it keeps popping up. All right, but um, that like I said in Revelations after the the horsemen come and rid the earth of mankind the purple people eater come through and you know take samples take what they want to keep because if they were trying to drown out the whole earth to get rid of evidence because they feel like this was a science science project going the fuck wrong they are going to want to take what you know the frozen labs they're going to only want to take what they deem um suitable okay? but anyway back to this purple people eater all right it's very important that you have to look people in the eye because the eyes is the 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 pathway to the soul and you can tell if a person has a soul or not by their eyes you need to look them back in their eyes you will see nothing but darkness behind them that's how you know it's a lie that's how you know it's a trick okay and that's how you can defeat this purple people eater that's how you can defeat those that come the fleet i heard that comes with this purple people eater okay so that's probably the horseman that's how you can defeat this malinformation that's being put out um oh well this misinformation that's leading to mal information okay we'll, we'll get into the definition of all that in just a moment let me stick to my notes all right um but eye contact is very important okay the are giving this misinformation because they were given disinformation okay under whatever organization 
work with and that's causing malinformation for us which is a threat to our national security okay malinformation is based on the fact um being used out of context okay it's, 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 it's basically it's someone knowing the truth of something but they're going to use it out of context to mislead you and harm you and manipulate you okay yeah narcissistic shit like that's what they like to do all right so they want you tricked they want you hoodwinked they want you let them muck in order to disarm you mentally and physically all right so that they can get this worldwide submission that they want they it's like global sodomy like they don't want to bend everybody over at one time and let you have it no vaseline okay this malinformation is what leads you to losing your faith and trust in all right and that's why it is so many truth tellers that become enemies of the state all right so basically they want to get this totalitarianism stuff started you know in the state in order to get subservience and dominance and to continue to be able to silence people as they see fit you know what i'm saying that's basically taking away your what now these uh Patents are what known as, uh, or what is known as the turnkey for the totalitarianism in the state. And also, um, I remember talking about the big data demon and the vaccine man using something like a Trojan horse. Okay, would the Holy Spirit say that this Trojan horse is their quote, quote, concern for public health? okay uh they want to set up the play before they activate it okay they want to put everything in place they want to get all their ducks in a row by getting everyone to believe what they say about believe this and believe that and then start telling people look uh if you don't have that well start telling people again if you don't have a you can't go here shutting down the flight shutting down this shutting down that um and stuff like that and they were getting away with it but it was temporary success y'all know it was loopholes around everything people was not wearing masks people did not care people were boycotting them they didn't get enough people to take the damn in order for whatever ritual and some shit to work it was just a mess for them so they're gonna try to try it again because they have to erect this uh totalitarian state before it can actually be activated they can't just say hey y'all can't go outside y'all house they have to give y'all you know made up wild ass reasons for such so that they can you can you will trust them enough to let them to continue to lead you off a fucking cliff okay a true act of tyranny from these terrorists that's what i call it okay now i know scientific research has to be done in order to save lives um and you know the original plans for things weren't to harm people but you know it's easy for stuff to go wrong it's easy for stuff to go bad to get in the wrong hands and people do what they want to do to it or people get the wrong information of something the wrong you know like people are Let's say you have a certain country that gets uh, some sort of intel or some sort of secret scientific information that another country figured out how to do this. So now this country doing that and trying to, you know how it goes. They want to copycat each other and try to, you know, be the best. All right. So that's how it happened, though. But um once they started spreading these illnesses and spreading disease from other planets okay so that's where these diseases come from and these illnesses come from they come from other freaking planets they come from them glaciers i'm telling you that's melting in fucking antarctica something that really does not exist a fucking portal okay they're sending these illnesses and diseases from other planets over here and vaccines went from being known as uh you know just or cures to gene therapy technology okay and i heard the words lion's gate and um island of games and you know we've been talking about hawaii so that was in reference to hawaii and island of games um then i heard like something like the the hunger games or something like a world cup it's like a battle you know basically like you see in all the movies they go get all these prisoners or they just get the strongest and the biggest and the baddest people from everywhere and they make them fight you know what i'm saying gladiator style to see who can come out on top who could be the super soldier so just imagine a bunch of people being shot up with a uh, vaccine or a uh, gene some gene technology therapy is being used on some of these super soldiers or prisoners of war or whoever they see fit you know um <clears throat> it kind of go back to that movie with the predator uh, it's called predators <laughs> with an s okay go watch it if you ain't already seen it if you have seen it even go back and go look at it but that's kind of how it was they took some people on this plane they dropped them off on this unknown planet okay after they dropped them off on the planet these people realized they was from all over earth okay but then they realized that not only was it them on the planet and they thought they was gonna have to survive each other they had to survive everything else that came from other planets as well okay all right, I'm hearing uh, survival of the fittest. So that's pretty much what it is. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to fight, okay? But when they fight, I think I think it's actually like, okay, because you know we talk about the X points and the portals that they have uh, in order to do travel and all that stuff like that. Like, uh, if we talk about Hawaii, you know, I already told y'all that there's a volcano um, 
that is connected one of their volcanoes or maybe a couple volcanoes that's connected uh to mars okay and then after i thought about that i heard the words virtual reality world okay now i did do some readings about movie producers and how um you know rituals were being done how you saw people's torsos popping up in trash cans you know not recently with these body parts but the same thing all right these are uh sacrifices being given they follow a lot of maya and incan ancient ways of human sacrifice so that's why they keep having these pieces of humans being found because people are doing these sacrifices all right if you had people in your hood doing sacrifices with chickens you would see pieces of chicken or whole chicken left out somewhere if a dog ain't got a hold to them these people were uh giving these like giving these sacrifices like let's see we're gonna talk about the movie producers because that's important okay all right so with this virtual reality world i did do a lot of um i did do a lot of readings about movie producers and rituals that were being done to secure their spots in the new world all right like that dude i talked about that cut up his girlfriend and her parents and they torsos was found in the trash cans and all that stuff like months ago and they had just you know had to put on him that his uh father so happened to be some movie producer and then i picked up on it and it was some shit about like him doing rituals and them trying to please a certain uh demonic entity if i could go back and find that y'all know i'm gonna post that okay um but i did do that reading and that kind of ties back into this because that's exactly what i thought about when i started reading about this and how and why because that comes up too with movie producers and teachers and principals and all that stuff i'm like okay so boom what's up with the body parts why are they being found again and it's just more um it's just more sacrifices being given these movie producers are like magicians they're like mages for the simple fact of you know how i told you on the movie the island they force feed you these images and you are force fed images off the tv it's plenty scary movies about you know what's on tv and how it programs your mind and how it's programming your children why a lot of people are quote quote let me have autism or autistic things like that so um these magicians they have these images and they uh create these illusions okay that's why they are considered magicians and they have a big hand in this process of getting people to believe a certain thing so that they can manifest something okay so all, all of that is magic right there so it's a lot of them not all of them but a lot of them who get into the game a lot of the ones who create these great movies with these symbols and signals and things that you can go look and actually pick up on if you go do the research it makes sense you know what i'm saying they throw it in front of your face but a lot of people like to say oh it's just a movie but they are able to do so and they are well versed in their occult so they gonna have the truth lying in the movie right in front of your face you know what i'm saying so that is why i like to watch movies i like to pick up on movies because they give you these images of what could possibly be going on and they use these illusions um to produce shows that you can't even see produce shows that you didn't even know what was going on that's why it's a lot of movies about like the truman show uh you're being recorded and being broadcasted on a whole nother planet and i really feel like that's what's going on and that is how they're able to uh just move from one world to another world because they have that access to you know basically say all the world is a stage because it is for them uh any world that they could possibly be in it is a stage uh for them to be able to film the stars quote quote okay so that's some real shit right there all right things that go on in the entertainment business and the entertainment business itself is hard to get into and it is very locked down only for, especially for secret societies and certain occults and certain groups because of the rituals and the things that they participate in you have to do certain things you know or you're gonna get kicked out certain people are certain sacrifices you know um but uh that's why that card keeps popping up in readings with the producers it has to do with this so as far as it goes with the gladiators and the running man and stuff there's an actual program being broadcasted okay first of all of us i always felt like i was in the truman show okay and it's the truth it's the truth when they say you're secretly recorded and they sell it on the black market and they do this and they do that that is another transmission of a way to get stuff to a whole nother planet so people can watch it like a reality show okay so uh back again with this 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 entertainment business okay for viewers not only from our planet but for other planets as well so 
it's like I was hearing uh, military prisoners on Mars after that. So I'm like, all right, everything is making sense. Not only are they trying to take these sacrifices over to Hawaii so that they can transport it through those uh, volcanoes and go ahead and, you know, take it to Mars so they can start creating agriculture and everything to go ahead and get people ready to move over there. All right. They already got people buying their little bunkers underground and they plots and stuff because there's a whole Incan city over there. All right. They don't just name it like that for nothing. OK, there's whole underground cities and everything over there they exist they've already been there they be watching us they watch us go through our trials and tribulations they watch us base our ass whatever these people put in your homes it's like sometimes you're targeted and you just living your life but somebody whoever your landlord or your slum lord could be could have built this place to record okay or put people in there who happen to have a you know local maintenance business so they can be a private owned you know type of uh, apartment or a private owned thing you know whatever but even in the big ones, because, you know, they deal with the occult claves and everything and they catch y'all bathing and doing all kind of stuff in hotels and stuff. Other planets, other that they they I'm hearing perverse, perverse minds like other planets and other beings want to see what's going on. OK. And by using the entertainment business, they are because they're not just entertaining us. They're entertaining other worlds that they have, you know, ties with. All right. So, <clears throat> I started hearing uh, military prisoners on Mars, okay? And then I thought about the super soldiers, and then I heard berserkers and terminators, okay? So, uh, I, I am going to go back and watch the Terminator movies. I have, I like, I watched them, but I have not watched them. <laughs> so, I'm going to go back and watch them. It was like when I was little, it was like, okay, that's on somebody's grandma TV or my grandma TV. Hmm. And then my attention span was like, whatever, and I tapped out. So, I'm going to go watch those movies as well. Um, I did watch The Running Man, so, you know, this kind of ties into it, too, the way he had to fight and the way they used propaganda against him, and it took for someone to, you know, know him in order to know that whatever they were saying about this person was not true, and they were just trying to get rid of him and use him because someone liked them, someone wanted them on the show, okay, so this could possibly have to do with uh, uh, a movie producer that may want to make a movie about your life, you know what I'm saying, have some two cents in your life, or possibly is the one that's documenting your life for the other planets, because you are a super soldier, okay, you're some sort of berserker, you're some sort of, uh, you, they can use you, you're fit to be used, they can put, you know, you to the test doing whatever electroshock therapy and all that shit when you was little, because you are, you, you, you are profitable, you could be a super soldier, they can use you, they didn't put you, you remember how we'll do readings, <clears throat> and then I just said plenty of times in the readings, it's like uh, they set up an obstacle course or some shit for you. Well, that's pretty much what it was. Like people were watching you go through these things. You got people rooting for you. You got people trying to get you taken out. You got people putting bets on your ass. You got people putting hits on your ass. Like you a hit in other planets. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or not just one person, like multiple people. We are show, shown. It's like a TV show. That's why they have to make it so, you know, dramatic because if all the world's a stage and these people want public executions, then what are they going to do? They're going to show you stuff like that. Like this man setting himself on fire and be like, this is a fascist coup. That was the most dramatic thing to do. But how would that shit look on a show? Come on. You ready to see some wild shit like that on a show, a TV show? The way y'all get sucked in on them TV shows is the same way them people get sucked in on y'all life. I'm trying to tell you. All right. So um, this Incan City in Mars is uh where they have these quote quote prisoners and prisoners prisoners could be anybody even in that uh uh even in that movie predators uh the prisoners were shit they had a black ops dude from the army they had an actual prisoner like a uh an Aryan brother prisoner in there i think and then they had a dude from you know <laughs> an African country, then they had some guy, I'm hearing triad, I don't know if he was from the triad, he could have been a Yakuza, I don't know, he was from a, 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 um, an occult group of gangsters, <laughs> okay, from Asia, from an Asian country, they had a lot of different people, they had the feminine, she was from, I think, maybe Brazil or something, and she was like, you know, in an army, or uh, uh, she was like, um, I don't know, she maybe was a part of someone's renegade or something, but they had all different types of people from Earth, Okay, and these 
prisoners you know it's not just people who go to prison like i just showed you it could be anybody oh yeah then they had yeah it could be anybody because they had homeboy who was just a serial killer he was a freaking psychopath you know what i'm saying and they thought he was just some weak ass nerd and no dude played him all you know what i'm saying and he was the more diabolical one out of all of them because he thought he was a smart ass so i'm guessing we got somebody who might be diabolical thinking they a smart ass okay thinking that they can outsmart every other prisoner because they're strong this is what i'm hearing i don't know who the hell the super soldier is and i ain't even write this down but this person is a psychopath this person is a social psychopath like this person encompasses more than one personality and then i heard legion we have many voices okay so well i don't know who this is but he can uh all right let's keep moving on because i ain't got time but this person wants to be the one to take this antichrist he wants to be a suitable uh a suitable vessel for the antichrist so he's pretty serious he is pretty diabolical but these prisoners are uh headed to mars if not already on mars okay um <clears throat> now they shoot these super soldier prisoners up with small samples of dna uh either from extraterrestrials human animals whatever planet put a bid on who you know what i'm saying things like that and they do the gene therapy and then they gotta fight to the death like gladiators okay now um these people are abducted <laughs> these people some of them like this dude is considered this 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 murderous dude, this real psychopath dude that I'm hearing about, he is a proficient killer, he feels as if though. So that may be something that they call themselves. Um, and these people have been taken. Uh, some of them didn't know they were taken. You know, they were, they're doing this on another planet and it's being broadcasted. Kind of like an Olympic type of event. Okay, so now I looked up the planet um, where they said it was on. And it's a, it's a reserve planet and it's like three or four different types of different predators that decided to go you know kidnap some people and get they you know get their prisoners together or whatever and they all put them on this planet so it's like a lot of people like i said putting in one big bid on the prisoners to fight each other all right it's 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 literally that's why i said gladiators literally it's for pure entertainment and it's being controlled because people with money or people with uh things to trade want to see it <laughs> i say things to trade because it could be humans it could be body parts it could be anything okay uh we're talking on an intergalactic level we are not just talking about in the usa okay it's way bigger than that all right now um after they have these groups of prisoners to fight each other to survive all right it it, it needs to be held uh on a certain scene if all the world's a stage then they gotta dress it up a certain way so on the movie it was uh considered untamed an untamed landscape an untamed planet that they just dropped them off on and it's you know a ritual thing that they drop them off on this desolate ass planet to make them fight all right now when we talk about untamed landscapes and all the plantage and all that shit it gotta kind of like i'm getting in the mind of it has to look like the garden of eden that's what they want to call it and i told y'all hawaii was supposed to be the utopia their garden of eden so that's possibly where they have these people fighting because i did hear Lionsgate. so you know it has to be on some sort of untamed landscape um and what's crazy is the movie was actually produced in texas and hawaii ain't that something so I was like, this this is possibly why this movie coming up. I need to watch it again. But I know I watched it multiple times before because I was a fan just of like the whole predator and alien thing anyways. And then I was freaking out when I seen the different types of predators, the, the falconer, the tracker, the berserker, the original. You know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much like what's going on. They got y'all fighting to the death because they like to see the shit. If they like to be messy and keep their militaries and everything stirring up shit and ready to be trigger happy and ready to fight, of course they want to see people who are, uh, you know, suitable vessels for whatever plan ritual or whatever they want you know what i'm saying so they got this whole little game going um i keep hearing about lion's gate i don't know if that has anything to do with a producer from there or if it's called lion's gate because i've been hearing so many things about gate they call it water gate fish gate 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 so it's some sort of opening maybe an opening of a portal i'm hearing they could possibly be <laughs> this is crazy but i'm seeing i don't know if this was a show or something but i'm seeing people fighting over the top of a volcano I don't maybe it was a cartoon or something maybe i have to look it up i'll put pictures of things that i looked up on people fighting over volcano um but i really see like people on some sort of it has to be alien technology because it damn sure ain't wood but it's something <laughs> okay that i'm seeing that they're standing on and they're over top of volcano and they have to fight to the death i don't know i guess that's the last two strongest ones have to do it and then it's going to be some sort of sacrifice a sacrificial thing but I, like i said it's like the olympics so i guess 
you know, they have to make it dramatic and that's what it gotta be. If all the world's a stage and they trying to set the stage for uh this apocalypse or whatever they want to start, then I, you know, I'm guessing that's how it's that's how it's coming, that's how it's going. But that was very coincidental that I looked up that, I thought about that movie, and then when I looked it up, it was filmed in Texas and Hawaii. They fit the scenery, okay? It's all about the scenery. But uh, then again, I was told to keep my eyes on Texas, okay? And that does put in with all the talk about Hawaii and why it's so important for them to take over that land and everything. And then I heard about another lady, y'all, recently. The woman bought land. She said she bought land in Hawaii. I don't know when she bought it. But this woman, the first explanation that they put up about this woman was that she matched her zodiac sign the the where the sun rises she did the latitude and longitude and she got her fucking house on a fucking super center and energy vortex like she said this shit just out loud on the tv and everybody ignored that part and paid attention to the part that someone else built on her land and now she has to pay you know some stuff and i ain't saying that's right or wrong ain't none of my business but what concerned me was how deeply this woman invested into getting this home Ma'am, if that ain't no, hey, I'm not hating on witchy shit, but that is that is something that will raise a red flag. This is not just an issue of, oh, someone stole my land. This is the issue of this woman pinpointing something of which she felt was close to her, was hers. I don't know, y'all. It, it kind of freaked, I ain't gonna say it freaked me out, but that shit caught my attention because everyone else ignored the, how detailed this woman went into how she picked her home. Latitude, longitude, her birth chart, how the stars are aligned, what the fuck grow there, what could be under it. <laughs> she probably went out there with a metal detector, buried something, did a sigil. Like, that's some important shit, but like I always say, it's about on Hawaii's land. It's about being on that land. And I am keep telling y'all, it's vortexes and shit and, and, and places of portals to get to where they got to go and do what they got to do. And that was just an example for me. Like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Like, when we do those readings and they say they got to take their masks off, that shit for real. The truth is now being exposed whether they want it or not, and you're being forced to take it whether you want to look or not. Ignorance used to be bliss, but guess who's being forced to wake up? The earth is actually shaking y'all up. Like, this is crazy. Um, Especially with the volcano part. Not the lady. We off of her, but <laughs> back to the volcano. Especially with the volcano part. You know, I had mentioned one time, and even it was mentioned in the movie, where they wish they could just push a girl over in a volcano like the old days. I was talking about one of y'all or a certain tribe. They just want to make it easy like it was back in the day for people to be willing. Because the sacrifice is more sweet when it's willing. Ain't nobody willing to do it no more. People are being forced up because of the earth, and people are waking up to certain things um, because of their ancestors. And that's another word for earth, your ancestors okay your roots so um this blood spill isn't as easy as it used to be and they wish it was that easy because they would have had it done and over with by now but they keep having to come up with these theatrics and all these new ass plans because everyone's paying attention okay they used to keep you busy with all these new things that they created they had the world in a chokehold with porn and i see people breaking away from that which is wonderful i just saw a couple videos people denounce like you know denouncing sororities and people uh you know stop stopping the constant masturbation and really like you know getting themselves together because it started a long time ago i think they even had it in one of the horror movies or horror shows if it wasn't um american horror stories yeah that one or if it was just like a movie where they was talking about as a matter of fact it was american horror story y'all can go look at the one um when it talked about the night stalker when they had the night stalker in there and all those murders and all that stuff um the porn had something to do with it because it was the overindulgence it was like the the constant needing of it people couldn't hold themselves back they were breaking like you know their restraints they were uh what they call it letting loose and then all the you know overuse of their um private areas would cause diseases or cause, ma cause malfunctions in the body you can't put up blockages that way and then y'all remember in that reading where i talked about just like on the island where people had insurance policies on clones because they would overuse their body but they want to live forever so that's why they be trying to knock y'all asses off or you know trying to throw these clones out here in y'all place because people set up insurance policies when they know that they're going to lose their life if they sign over their life and they say that they want to live forever they wanted this they wanted that that don't mean that body gonna live forever somebody body might live forever that one might be broke so you gonna go ahead and get an insurance claim and buy another body buy a clone shall 
Sorry, I'm rambling. Y'all know I done went off on my notes. Let's see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, um, we also talked about how, you know, a lot of these uh, pedophile rings and sex trafficking rings and all these people are being discovered and going to jail and blowing up their own homes and taking their own lives because they're being exposed to the dark thing, deep, dark things that they were doing and how that is um the direct effect of them losing sacrifices okay the things that they used to get away with in the dark the innocent people they used to take the children they used to steal it's hard for them to do it now because people are watching so now the viewers from the other planet are not pleased now i i'm, I'm just saying the viewers from the other planets are not pleased and um i want y'all to understand when i say viewers from other planets I am talking about other extraterrestrial beings. I am talking about other people, uh, other ancients, you know, like the um, Incans and Mayans that found a way to Mars or did, you know, whatever, found uh, portals and underground cities and underground towns and stuff like that. Um, and not all of the Incans and Mayans. They're literally people who have Incan and Mayan uh, blood that still live here. But there are a subgroup, just like it's a group already over there on Mars and motherfuckers like you and me who heading their way to Hawaii to get to jump through that portal to go to Mars. But the viewers that are displeased are the Titans. The viewers that are displeased are the falling angels. You got to know, they on other planets too. Like I said, hell is Pluto. Okay, so you already know who trapped under hell, who got put here, who got put there. Uh, certain titans, I think the giants, most of the Nephilim, some of them are on Uranus, you know what I'm saying? These are the viewers from the other planets. If they're locked up, put somewhere in a dungeon and having to do their bid on one of the nine levels of hell, then they looking at something. They got drones, they got eyes, they got people sneaking around and being spies for them. You know what I'm saying? They got certain angels that they like to uh, uh, portray. I heard, or fly around, okay? Ah, they are the watchers, okay? Just because they were uh, recorded in Enoch for watching don't mean they stopped fucking watching, all right? They are most definitely not pleased. So now these um, groups, possibly, you know, groups like the Trilateral Commissioners, they want to turn up the heat, quote, quote, okay, to get this apocalypse going. Now, um, this part is tied into the influx in cicadas, okay? It's going to be a big thing about uh, cicadas. You know, they come out every seven, 16, 17 years, I think. Um, and it's it's a big deal. Uh, but it has to be warm enough for them to do so. Okay, so uh, I think that it's being used as a metaphor for what's to come. All right. Um, this Incan city on Mars every 16 to 17 years, I heard, is where these flying beasts are released okay it's some flying beasts that they want to release on earth but they have to collect them from mars um and they wreak havoc on humanity all right so these people who want to turn up the the, the fire these fire starters they want to release these creatures on earth in order to get fear mongering going and collect souls you know like a two for one because they're making up for lost time um and they need to hurry up and get this shit going they need to hurry up and get the show going because uh, the ones that they were told were going to rise or the ones that have them working on earth in order to help them rise uh, These fallen angels are like I'm coming to collect what's up and We do readings about that as well about how the devil is coming to collect and people got to pay up and they don't want to All right, so they feel like they got to make up a lost times to try to you know, do something drastic Okay, now, um, I did hear someone say something about an admiral like I be hearing y'all I hear their voice and someone asked the admiral, okay? So I'm like, okay, boom, let me look up admiral. So I looked up admiral and it came up as a commander or a fleet or a naval officer of a very high ranking, okay? So, you know, like the military, a ranking in the military or somebody, of course. You know, when I heard admiral, I understand that. But what stuck out to me was a commander of a fleet. And we keep talking about these plagues. We keep talking about these vaccines. We keep talking about these viruses. We keep talking about gene technology therapy, okay? Now, there's some admiral who decided that, yes, this was okay for them to get some admiral on Mars, I'm guessing, or some naval base they could possibly on Mars. Um, they said that it was okay for these people to collect these animals. I'm hearing these demons, these flying demons, okay, um, and uh, release them. Okay, so I'm guessing basically someone had to get permission to transport these fucking animals beasts creatures whatever because honestly they're animals creatures of beasts because they're from mars they thrive on that land in that temperature you know what i'm saying it's just like somebody taking a fucking cow from over here and sending that bitch to mars to see how it would you know live they would have to adapt its 
surroundings in order for it to survive so they had to get permission i'm hearing in one of these underground ass bunkers that's why they've been shooting that shit up in the air and pumping up this heat okay um they want to get the atmosphere ready for these beasts to fly among everybody because they want to make revelations look real they want to bring back dragons you know we keep talking about that these i think are the the beasts that they talk about um a bloodline that they banished to this planet remember i told y'all they were sucking shit up and dropping it off okay so this is what they banished and uh put on this planet or they said they wanted to release it or they want to release it during a time of darkness it reminded me of that movie like uh pitch black like it has to be a blackout it has to be some sort of eclipse or something um in order to transport these creatures without people seeing okay and i do believe i do believe around that time they were blocking certain uh places like the grand canyon and other places like that around when april 8th around with the eclipse and remember i had did readings before that about april 5th of us getting the upgrade spiritually and then about april 8th about something going on well apparently when it went dark through a certain tunnel that's in the grand canyon they were able to transport these beasts without everyone seeing with everyone being busy okay um but that is why they were blocking off a lot of these places because x points move and they weren't sure they needed a good uh a good amount of room just in case some of them got away and that brings me back to evolution remember how when on that movie evolution it was a comedy a long time ago how um the beasts came out and they were evolving very quickly and they would die and then spawn the next new thing and they ended up spawning some like dragon lizard flying thing and it went into the mall and it wreaked havoc and all that shit like that's kind of much you know kind of pretty much what i was seeing like if it would have got away they would have had to contain it so you already know this is around you know the grand can area around colorado nevada because it has they had to go from that uh port of time travel i'm guessing some sort of it may be some sort of canyon on mars they had to take them from there and then transport them to this grand canyon and then get them hurry up and put them through the tunnels the under one of the underground tunnels that would lead to you know that whole base that they got over there at the hoover dam okay all right so not only do they have those beasts you know don't be alarmed that they trap those animals over there they have a lot of different beasts a lot of different um creatures from mythologies a lot of different um crypt i'm hearing crypto something crypt zoo crypto something what i gotta look it up but it's crypto something cryptozoology cryptoids okay so i guess they got cryptoids in there they got a lot of different weird shit in there that they like to wreak havoc or use you know like they use y'all doors kind of like on monsters inc they use y'all churn doors and closets and under your bed as portals and they send these motherfucking creatures through there to see how they feed off you how they do this how they do that you're a freaking experiment i keep telling you these people is using you as an experiment because you're willingly giving yourself over to it because a lot of people are living in bliss and they don't want to know and then they're trying to get rid of the rest of us who do know so we don't tell everybody else so they believe us and then they can't do their little messed up ass experiments no more okay all right, so boom, what make it even crazier is that I looked up, do they have eclipses on Mars? You know, when the last eclipse was on Mars and that did come through on the news. The last eclipse that was on Mars was 54 days before the one that was on April the 8th, okay? So, um, you can look at it and see that it looks like freaking eyes. Tell me them don't look like eyes, okay? You remember like the eye of the fallen angel that I talked about? How they can watch stuff, how they can see stuff. Look at how that shit was. And that was on Mars. That's when they had their eclipse, okay? So they wasn't pleased when they did watch. And then everybody made this plan in between then and now panicking to go ahead and release these beasts so they can, you know, make the show work the while so they can have this big old show, this big old ego trip. They got to come out with a bang. They can't just, you know, just emerge and then scare everybody like, oh, i'm here bow down no they gotta give you this big ass show to make you tremble all right they gotta live up to that word they left in that damn uh revelation that's what they want to do so <clears throat> 54 days before then okay you see this eye rolling around on mars whoever whatever fallen angel this is is not pleased didn't get what they needed didn't get the sacrifices that they needed. so now they transported them um like i said they got them underground in the base okay i don't know if they're just big winged beasts that move like cicadas but they're gonna have these little homes like cicadas they're gonna emerge from them or at least they did emerge from them no i'm hearing they're gonna emerge from them there's gonna be some new developments possibly in the grand canyon if these things get released uh they're gonna make nestings in trees if they get released 
Uh, remember I said hidden in the trees. Maybe these beasts, y'all be out here camping. You know what I'm saying? Doing your thing. Maybe these beasts will be in the trees. Maybe this is a whole nother cryptoid that they're going to have to add in the book. And here we go again. Remember I said Jersey Devil? Hell, these might be Jersey Devils. This might be how they came up with Jersey Devils. This is crazy. I didn't think about it like that until now. But this might be literally how they came up with the Jersey Devil or uh, the other day when I pulled that car. We're going to pull some cars on these different animals that they could possibly have in these bunkers. Uh, most definitely that they're trying to use against you guys. And then we're going to kind of get in on... For what? I don't know. We're going to be nosy once I get these cars. Let me finish my notes though. <laughs> um, Alright. They may be released when the cicadas emerge or they'll emerge from these tunnels um, in that base that look like cicada chimneys. All right, um, maybe May or early June, I'm hearing. It really depends on how they can heat things up. They keep shooting shit up in the air is to make it hot. Um, so they could possibly, if they keep saying, we're going to have one hot summer, we're going to have one. That's what they're hoping on. That's what they're wishing on, especially with these hurricanes and shit, because you know, with the hot water, a lot of things get stirred up out there. Um, but, all right, so we'll see how it goes this, this summer with what goes on. Um, and, you know, again, it's, 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 it's no point of freaking out these animals and creatures and things that they've been taking they've been taking them for years so let me go ahead and get my cards and stuff ready and then we'll kind of see what they got going on in these caves or at least what they got going on in these underground tunnels and what they're trying to use what the hell animal is on mars okay hold on all right y'all so let's grab some cards and see what they got going on in these tunnels and these caves down there this alien base all these creatures what we got going on what's that oh the watcher pan all right we got some succubus energies down there didn't i tell you took that jersey devil water demons we got a dog barking since i said this lord have mercy <laughs> let's see let's see what else we got some water demons I guess that's why they had all that hype about mermaids at one point, huh? All right, they have an actual ectoplasmic mist down there, okay? They even got uh, uh, their hands on hauntings, haunters, ghosts of purgatory. That's where this ectoplasm, ectoplasmic mist comes from, all right? You know anything about ghosts and ghost hunting? That's very important, okay? They got some gin locked up over there. Mm -hmm. They took a couple of them in Iraq. I did hear that, okay? They're using them as monitoring spirits, possibly, uh, for these breeding programs, okay? A lady in white. There's always a lady in white everywhere on somebody's bridge to snatch somebody up. Ain't that right? Dragons, breeders of the fallen angels, pixies, unbaptized children's spirits because you know the things that they do with these children's spirits uh after they collect them you know and these are tortured children's spirits with no parents that is a very 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 chaotic energy all right the hamish turtle dragon i look run the breeding program on the planet and the moons y'all 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 wonder why that man sitting in that office like he's sitting there this is a whole plan, a plot, and this is how they do it. The slua. I did a whole reading about the slua and how every time these uh, fires happen, these big, um, what are those, the fires that happen, uh, forest fires. These big forest fires and shit that happen, and then they send up that big old cloud of smoke. If you watch how it goes over everybody, it's like a, 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 a flu of angels, angels of death, okay, stealing souls from earth. All right, they got werewolves. That's how they have a hold of that curse. Okay, fat green men, these perverts, they could be considered um, creatures or sometimes they like to dress themselves up as leprechauns, dress themselves up as elves, or I'm hearing that they could be some of the ones that are snatching uh, people in Alaska. Mm -hmm. Envy, Janice, the perverts, these are the ones that kill women, kill children. These are the perverts that get with women who have children of a certain age so they can become obsessed with the child. And when the child tries to get away, they take that child life. That's what I heard. Envious, jealous. This Hopskin, <laughs> Hopskinville Goblin. They got that over there too. Anything else? Some more um, unbaptized children of Eve. Some demons. Possibly the Mothman. All right. I know y'all like, what? Come on now. We've come too far for y'all to be surprised at what they got locked up. A covert narcissist, okay? This is somebody 
who is this? Yes, who is this admiral? This covert narcissist. Somebody who seems like a real good person. They envy people on the low. They take them out on the low. So it's a perfect person for the job to say, hey, can we release some dragons? Sure, why not? <laughs> Let loose. I'm hearing foot loose. That might be one of his favorite movies or something. Ooh. Mm. God, so look at Didn't I tell y'all? Hmm. The Who Commission? You said the Trilateral Commission. Uh huh. Let me get these cards off the floor. All right. This Admiral could possibly be a part of the Kappa. I mean, the Kappa Alpha Psi. Uh, I don't know if it's a sorority or a fraternity. Uh, this could be about a reincarnated queen or reincarnated queens. Um, they think that you are a zombie because they didn't try to take you out. Okay, these people are guilty of all crimes against you. They have been the ones tampering with your mail, okay? People tampering with your mail. You also have someone from the Sigma Gamma Rho who could have something to do with uh, trying to return these titans. May make the dwarf planet, may make creator of humanity. They could be trying to give you as a sacrifice. Yeah, you're a Masonic sacrifice for the Grand DC Lodge. For the Grand Lodge in DC. Somebody who a part of that Grand Lodge or multiple people part of that Grand Lodge talking shit behind your back. Yeah, they want to take your child. All right, extraterrestrial contract. They Well, damn, extraterrestrial contact, but I said contract. So this person is trying to steal your child. Stalker is a woman. Okay, this Admiral could possibly be that redhead lady I kept talking about. Crying in the car watching everything you do. Knowing you have paternal aliens, set your bloodline up on purpose, set your, your your father to go find your mother or set your mother to go find your father in order to do this low-key uh, breeding to see how your blood reacts. Alright, they just want to have power over you. Baby in a jar, they could possibly have a clone of you in a jar. This woman possibly has three years bad, and bad luck or somebody in the skull and bones uh, click has, man, listen, didn't I tell y'all? A director okay skull and bones this person could be he could be a part of the skull and bones he went to Yale he's a Freemason okay use pest control on his children somebody baby mama had something to do with this <laughs> maybe his baby mama used pest control on the kids oh my gosh anyways someone father hates your guts peekaboo random drive-bys it might be your daddy that don't like you uh yeah using this propaganda against you now they want out they don't want to deal with this anymore all right y'all this is this is this is it this is all i'm gonna leave it right here holy spirit say i done blew a couple minds already okay they want to do all this trying to manifest their desires through sex and i say overusing that damn uh chakra and then buying clones out here how can you afford that how can they have the money to do that well when you're working with people who are over the banks the world banks you can do pretty much what you want to do okay sexual addictions i'm finna go didn't i say that Havana Syndrome, okay, a lot of y'all uh, have Havana Syndrome because these are the people that were funding for these folks to do this damn gang stalking and send these 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 sonic weapons, all right? A voodoo priest, a priestess, they might think you are. They might be using one against you. Somebody lost their relationship with somebody in the Zeta Phi Beta. <clears throat> yeah, they knew you were gifted. They did some sexual favors for money with somebody from the Alpha Cap, from the AKA. Sexual favors and did a ritual at Mount Fortaker in Alaska because of the latitude and longitude, the number, the X point at that point. All right, somebody and their wife, a man and their wife, I don't know, did some sex at uh, Mount Fortaker. <laughs> did some sex. They had a sexual ritual going on, child, and they were trying to take you out and the shit didn't work. This is a masculine and a feminine, all right? Feminine is jealous of your gift. The masculine possibly could have been the one that had a baby with you that put you or was assigned to you in this breeding program, okay? Now, y'all, this is it. This is all. Oh, Holy Spirit said, no, it's not. Let's get into it. I'm going to give y'all a couple characteristics of some of these people that's talking, y'all. I don't know. I'm getting the director, the Skull and Bones director, who wants your child and uh, possibly wants to put your child on, like, a Hunger Games situation, get rid of you, and then record your child surviving. This is weird. Um, This stalker. This woman stalker who had sex with possibly your baby daddy at a different spot somewhere to try to do a ritual to get back at you. This woman could possibly be Puerto Rican or Brazilian. All right. For some of y'all, she could be from the UK or Australia. I don't know why I didn't put that card down. K could be of significance for someone. Someone's uncle. 
with a shortcut and a beard could be of significance. They could have done something to you when you were 13 through 17 years old. Here's the red hair once again. Someone is a Pisces with a C who could have had something to do with this situation. They could have a lot of piercings. Hmm. A M. Someone has short hair. They could be possibly 25 through 34 years old. An Aries. What about this Admiral? It's the woman. Short hair. She has a son. All right, someone could have a son with their ex. That's a Scorpio. All right, someone could be a Taurus. Son, sister, and a Q. Someone's questionable. Oh, wow. Ew. Okay, so this got some to do with some ancestors. Some, some, someone's ancestor. Someone slept with their own daughter or wanted to sleep with their own daughter. All right. Uh, those are a couple things. I'm going to put that down. <laughs> this is it. This is all my loves. I hope you got what you needed from this reading. I'm going to go ahead and clear this off. I'm going to keep an eye open, keep an ear open to the skies, and I'll let y'all know what I got again in the next one, okay? It's not a game. It's a red skin.